Hello everyone. It's Denise Adams here. I just wanted to connect with you today. I'm excited for what God is doing and uh, you know this message has been on my heart forever and uh, I get a chance to preach it sometimes when I'm overseas or uh, in uh, live meetings but you know don't I don't know but uh, I believe that some of you do know you need to hear this message like you've never heard it before. Hey, Sandra Don, God bless you. Good to see you online. You know, there are many people who um, have heard about Jesus, who have uh, gone to church maybe once in a while or maybe at Christmas and during a, a Passover, Resurrection Sunday, as we call it. Some call it Easter, I don't, but um, that was when he was resurrected. Um, but what I've found is that you need to get to know him. You need to ask about him. Jesus is God. Father, our Father God in heaven, sent his son Jesus to the earth for you and for me to pay the price for our sins. He came, he showed himself a lot, and, and it, he died on the cross. He died on the cross for us, for our sins each and every one of us. You know, you hear that, and many of you have heard this message so many times, but you need to hear it like you've never heard it before because there are people who do not understand the truth. They've been um, going their own way, walking away from him, sinning, and um, God says, I want a relationship with them. I want to save them. And... Um, there's a scripture God put in my heart that's been kind of burning in my heart all morning and last night, actually for quite a while now. It's in Acts 2.21. Can I read it to you? Let me read this one scripture to you. It says, And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, that's Jesus, shall be saved. Shall be saved. Now, what are you saved from? Saved from the sin, uh, from the penalty of your sin. Saved. Amen saved for the penalty of their sin. Jesus wants to save you. And the penalty for your sin is eternal death. Eternal death. What happens? That's eternal separation from God. Eternal separation. There's an eternal separation that I don't, you know, I hear people prophesying, he people you know, giving words of knowledge, giving words of wisdom, but let's talk about eternal life today because there's an eternal life with Jesus. Shalom, Apostle Akin. God bless you. There's an eternal life that is required that we can have, but we have to choose Jesus. He's already chosen us. He's already waiting with his arms open, but he needs you to say, save me, forgive me of my sin, and save me, Jesus. Save me. I want to live eternally with you. I want your eternal life. That's the only way you're going to get saved. You know, you may be some awesome person, some amazing person. I know some amazing people who don't really have a relationship with Jesus. They're wonderful people, but they have not made the decision in their heart to say, forgive me for every sin. Forgive me for every mistake I've done. I repent. I'm sorry. Repenting means I, I shouldn't have done that. You're, you shouldn't have done that. Amen. Amen. And some of you need to do it. I know you're looking at, uh, at death right now. It's in your face right now. But God wants you to have eternal life with him. You may pass from this world, but you will pass into eternal life with him where there's no more tears there's no more pain there's no more sickness there's no more disease there's no more of that awful awful stuff that's happening in this earth there's eternal life and joy mm, forevermore with him with him and it's a simple thing it's something you say out loud something you declare from your heart jesus come and save me Forgive me, I've sinned, I've fallen short. Forgive me, hallelujah. And he will, he will forgive you for 
everything that you have done. There's not one thing that you have done that he won't forgive you of. He will forgive you of absolutely everything because he loves you so much. He loves you so much. So listen, I'm doing a very short message today. I know that some people, um, maybe that even you know, are, are facing death. They're facing it. They're looking it in the face. And they need to hear this word that Jesus is not condemning them. The world stands condemned, but with him is eternal life. With Jesus is eternal life. You know, the rich young uh, ruler came. He, he, well, this young man came. He had lots of wealth. He had followed all the rules. He said, I'd done it right, Lord Jesus. And uh, Jesus looked at him and loved him. He says, oh, go sell everything you have and follow me. So Jesus already knew what his sin was. He trusted in money and wealth and believed he was perfect. <laughs> and he did, not, he did not understand. We've all missed it. We've all fallen short. And you may be a good person. You may be a good person, but that sin nature has to come out. And the only way that it comes out is through Jesus Christ. He's the only way. We call on his name. Jesus, save me. Forgive me. Jesus, I make you my Lord. I make you my Savior. Come into my heart. Be the Lord of my life. It's that simple. It seems so difficult, but, and, you know, when I first said it, I didn't understand everything, but I found people who knew and could teach me things and give me things I needed to help me understand. But I, I know some of you in your heart of hearts, there's like this tugging right now. It's like inside you, it's just going, oh, I've got to say yes. Just say yes. Just say, Jesus save me. Jesus, forgive me. And he will come and he will save you and he will forgive you. Now, that's as easy as it gets, guys. We make this too difficult. Amen. People are looking for Jesus. And today, I trust you have found him through this message. I pray, I pray that if you've received Jesus today, that you would inbox me and let me know. Amen. I will help you. Whether you're, if you're in another nation, I'll help someone to find you, get you some information. I want to send you an ebook uh, for those who got saved today, um, and that will help you in your walk and get you started. See, Jesus had followers. They followed him for a few years. Amen before they went out and shared good, the good news. So I want to tell you, it's okay to learn. It's okay to study the Word and read some books and maybe get yourself a Bible. It's okay. God loves you so much. I love you too. Thank you for staying with me and listening to this message today. I believe, I believe this message has been ordained of God to go forth. The scripture in the, your Bible, circle this one. Circle this one. It's Acts 2.21. And it shall come to pass. It will happen. It will really happen. That whosoever, doesn't matter if you're rich or poor or um, thick in sin or thin in sin. I don't know where you're at. God does doesn't matter who you are, but whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, that is Jesus Christ, you shall be saved. Just the way it goes. You shall be saved. Saved from eternal death. Saved from eternal destruction. Saved. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, it's burning in my heart today. I trust this has ministered life to you. Just go to that scripture. Grab that scripture. Because that word, just that word alone, 
You can go to someone who's hurting right now, who's in, who's in fear and pain, or is looking at eternal death. Give them that word. It will change their life. And I pray for open doors for you to share this with someone who needs it. Well, God bless you. I love you. And I will talk to you soon. I'll see you on Wednesday morning at 7.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on my wavemaker.coach page. I have information on my page for you. And uh, we can talk about the Lord some more. And uh, we're walking through the book of Acts. So I love you so much. God bless and we'll talk soon.